Uh, gosh, um, obviously a disappointing ending. Um, you know, I thought that our team is is at you know a really great point um, in the season of where we are headed. Um, I think every game we are we are learning from the last one and, and taking it into action in the next one. Um, and that's such a great sign of growth and maturity. And, you know, unfortunately today we, we didn't finish out that fourth quarter, maybe the way that we had, would have hoped. Um, but just um, proud of the effort um, and the focus with this team. You know, I think we're right there. And, um, you know, looking forward to, to being back at it in action at, at the Stetson tournament. Thanks for your time, Coach. Um, what do you think USF did differently? You know, I think um, a, a part of that, you have to give them credit. Obviously, they are really um, talented three-point shooters, um, and they can score in, in quick bursts. Um, and so that, uh, you know, that lead, they, they went real quick and, and got some points, and we started to feel some of the pressure. And I thought we were getting some good shots. They just weren't falling. Um, and, you know, I think uh, USF um, definitely um, made some shots down the stretch. It was a big, big third quarter for you all. You came out of the <coughs> on a mission. What was the message? We really just talked about staying locked in, um, that it didn't matter. Um, you know, we, we talk a, a big piece of our program is that, hey, it's about VCU basketball. Um, it's not the time on the score or the opponent that we're playing. We want to play the game um, in each possession the way that we practice. Um, we want it to be really connected and, and really, um, you know, just – the way that, that we hope to play the game. And I think we talked about, hey, this is, is a really tough team, and we want to make sure that we're locked in um, you know, every, every play down the stretch. <coughs> USF has been a team that has turned the ball over a lot. You were able to turn them over a lot today and minimize uh, turnovers on your own. What was the key to doing that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I think our defense um, is, is part of our identity. Um, you look at the athleticism um, that Sarah and Taya and Janika, uh, Madison, that, that we, can, we can put on, on teams and on the ball. And when you can, can put that type of pressure on, um, you know, I think we're able to force teams out of their rhythm. Um, and then that also the next step of that is turning them over. So it's exciting. You know, I, I, you know, I was reminding them, hey, that we scored, you know, eight points in a minute um, in the Buffalo game, um, and that we have that ability in the same way that South Florida does. Um, but unfortunately, just not not enough time on the clock today to, to get the result that we wanted. Um, Terry has been incredibly, incredibly consistent and efficient offensively. How important is what she does on offense? Yeah, I think, um, you know, the, the thing about Taya is that she's so versatile. Um, you know, she can rebound the ball for you. She'll, she'll play great defense. She'll talk out there. Um, and, and then she'll make all the different reads off of the, um, you know, the offensive side. And I think she's, as much as she's scoring, she's trying to look to get people involved. And, you know, you saw, you know, huge baskets by both of these. Chloe, you know, came in and that was, you know, Right off the bat were just some big points for us. And then Sarah consistently just was hitting some big shots. And, you know, that run was really sparked by, you know, how well these guys were, were scoring for us um, in that third quarter. Um, USF was 2 of 10 from 3 in the first half. But went 5 of 8 in the second half. <coughs> uh, you know, we were, we were really far focusing on um, holding them each quarter um, from the three-point line. And I think, you know, a part of it was in the transition. You know, some of it came off of some of those offensive rebounds, and then you're, you're kind of scrambling. Um, but, you know, to hold them to seven or less, that was our goal for the game. Um, and, uh, you know, probably more so <coughs> in our defense was, you know, getting some, getting some shots to fall um, probably would have had more of an impact on the game. In a game like this that's really a, a battle that's with, with a good team and program, what's the takeaway? Can you repeat the question, please? In a game like this that's a battle with a really good team and program, what's the takeaway from this game? Um, well, I thought that we were mixing it well with them. Um, Again, there's just the little things that can be changed, but they're little things, and you know, I think that once we implement those changes, like it shows that we're up there with them. Um, for me, I think uh, we was it was a great fight, you know, and we learned a, a lesson, and now we just got to work hard, 
and keep going for the next uh, games. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, a ton of a ton of confidence. Um, I think you know one of the things that's so impressive about Sarah is that she's playing a lot of minutes and she's impacting the game on both sides of the floor. She's picking up um, full court and pressuring. She's you know talking out there on the defensive side and then she's dumping that ball out and she's going. Um, and you know she just has the ability to shoot um, with with such accuracy um, and such pace. Um, and then you you bring that with with Taya and you know kind of that quiet confidence that Taya brings to the floor um, you know it's really an exciting time for us um, even though today was was just a tough one yep yep um, heading into the sets and tournament next weekend um, wrapping up non conference play what do you see as the big thing to kind of work on to get ready for a ten play you know, I think every team, um, you know, looks at the challenges that they, they put in the non-conference schedule to get them ready for, for the conference, for the A-10. Um, and I think for us, you know, we, we have battled some really great programs. Um, and, and I think, you know, this game was a different defensive game plan than Buffalo. That was a different one than Boston College, which I think when we look at, okay, how are we going to, to battle against Rhode Island and Dayton? You know, just being able to take um, those lessons from each game um, and how we were able to stay connected no matter what the game plan was to play our style. Um, and it's one of the best things I, I look at it as every game is it's just, hey, what are, what are we taking away? It's not, it's not necessarily about the, the win or the <coughs> loss. It's what's the key takeaways. Um, and I, I've just been so proud of every time we come out of a game, um, whatever it is, that, that, that big piece, um, they really have been focusing on it and really trying to get better at it the next day. Chloe, you've really settled in and been consistent lately. Is that, would you attribute that more to just, you know, adjusting to ECU, adjusting to Richmond, or just confidence? Um, yeah, it's been an adjustment. Like, I was, you know, working hard in the off season. Um, and yeah, just with confidence each game, like I know what I need to do to help my teammates. So I'm just dedicated to providing each game.